we've used the term neutral conductor for decades in the NEC, but strangely enough, it wasn't actually defined uh, until the 28 or perhaps it was 2011 NEC. So when they defined neutral conductor, they had to also make a definition for what we call neutral point, because really it was impossible to define a neutral conductor without calling what it connects to a specific thing under certain conditions. So let's start with neutral point, and then we'll talk about a neutral conductor. So the neutral point is defined in Article 100 as the common point of a three-phase Y-connected system. Okay, so let's just stop right there for a minute. Here we've got a three-phase Y-connected system. That common point is the neutral point. All right, so that's one example. That would be a neutral point. We also have the, mid the midpoint of a single phase three wire system, which would be this, right? So a single phase system, the midpoint 120 from the ungrounded conductor to the neutral point, 120 from the other ungrounded conductor to the neutral point, 240 volts across the phase, that would be our neutral point. We also have a neutral point, which is the midpoint of a single phase portion of a three phase delta system. All right, so here is my three phase delta. I have picked one of the three phases and I've connected it to the dirt. That then becomes our neutral point. Okay, so that's a neutral point. This is a neutral point. And this is a neutral point as well. Uh, we can also have the same thing on a three-wire DC system as well, although I'm not really getting into the DC part of it. So those are our neutral points. Now again, why did we define neutral point? Because we have to define it in order to define neutral conductor, and that was really the objective of these definitions was to define neutral conductor. That's the conductor that's connected to the neutral point and it carries current under normal conditions. All right, so this white wire right here is connected to the neutral point. It carries what? The unbalanced load of the three phase conductors. So that's going to be our neutral conductor because it connects to the neutral point and it carries current under normal conditions. Just like this neutral conductor connects to the neutral point and carries current under normal conditions. Now, if these systems, and you can tell with the grounding symbol, if these were solidly grounded, then that's a grounded conductor and it is a neutral conductor. Not every grounded conductor is a neutral conductor though, because some grounded conductors do not connect to a neutral point. Let's take a look here. I've got my three phase, four wire Y connected system, connects to the neutral point, carries current under normal conditions, that's the formula to determine the neutral current. I've got 20 amps on line one, 15 on line two, 10 on line three. How much current is going back on the neutral? 8.66, and I can figure that out with that formula up here. Here I've got a three phase, four wire delta connected system. This neutral conductor is connected to the neutral point. It carries current under normal conditions. That's a neutral conductor. How do I determine the neutral current on a system like this? It, it's simple. You just take phase A minus phase B or B minus A, whatever you want to do, and that is your neutral current, the difference between those two. So 20 amps on one, 15 amps on the other means you're going to have 5 amps on that phase. So nice and easy to figure that out. What if I had a three-phase, three-wire delta connected system? That would be a corner grounded system. So if I were to shift this point over to the corner, any corner of the delta. Well, that would carry current under normal conditions, but it's not connected to a neutral point, right? Because on a delta, a neutral point can only exist at the center of one of the phases. So that's the difference between a neutral conductor and a grounded conductor. Be sure to like, follow, subscribe, and ring the bell.